everybody on YouTube, Brandon Parker, back in with another tutorial. This time this tutorial is going to be on uh, Final Cut with the uh, Chroma Key tutorial, showing you how to do a green screen, blue screen, stuff like that. I'm going to show you how to do green screen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get right in here, and then get right into Final Cut. And there's many different things you can do uh, when you're uh, using a green screen or a blue screen. And uh, what you could do, like if you're using a green screen, is you could add whatever uh, video loops in the background that you want. You can add whatever images you want. You can pretty much do whatever. You can disguise the limit. You can do whatever uh, you you want to do. And I'm gonna show you uh, many different ways. And pretty much, I'd say the hardest part of just green screening in general is uh, getting it uh, right because every time, uh, you know, depending on how you get your lighting and everything and depending on how your subject uh, looks and depending on the kind of camera you have a little bit you're gonna have to play them around with the uh, keying out all the green and stuff and I'm gonna show you a little bit uh, how it looks like parts right here here's like another part of me uh, behind a video loop right here and I'll show you this part Okay, and then I'm going to show you uh, what I look like behind a still image of a background right here. Okay, this is what I look like. And as you can tell right here, this I did this part of uh, Summer Glow. I, t I, I even keyed her out with a little bit of a keen trick, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So first what I'm going to show you is how I did my green screen of how I made myself look. And a little bit, you can kind of notice a little bit of the outline a little bit. Depending, uh, depending on how the clip uh, looks and everything, and the quality of it, you're gonna have to leave a little bit of it showing a little bit, depending. But here, here's how I get it to as perfectly as possible, so it looks like I belong in that background. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get one of these right here. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna bring this in. Give it a second, because uh, sometimes uh, it takes a little bit to load a little bit, depending on how much the effects you have on your clips and everything. Okay, what I'm going to get, let's see, go to right about here, and double click on it. What I'm going to do is go all the way out to the outside of here. Okay. Okay, now you can see me, and the camera was a little off for some reason. It must have moved a little bit, so I, so you can fix that too by doing this. Okay, you can go to motion. And what I do is go to 108. Okay, and then what I do because I have a little bit of a motion blur type thing, which is called a, a wide time, which is a, an effect. Uh, you just go to right down in here in your videos, and it's in. Uh, and see it's in time and that's what white time is and it kind of acts like a little bit of a motion blur a little bit I told you about that in a few of my other Final Cut tutorials so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off and now as you can see you can see me on a black background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut it off okay what I'm going to do is delete everything that, that I have for the chroma key part so I can show you how it works so double click on it okay go to filters and I'm going to shut it off Okay, right there, and I'm going to shut off uh, the other part that I have, which is the spill suppressor, which is a good thing. Okay, I'm going to delete both of them. Okay, and then I'm going to go right in here, and where you can get to your chroma key or whatever effect, uh, you go right into key, you look, you go to your effects, or you go right into effects here, and you search for it. But I say it's a lot easier if you have it right in this window right in here, and you go to your. Uh, effects then you look for your folder where it is and it's called key and what you do is you go to right here and you can do the which one where's the chroma key Let's see it's, okay right here chroma key here okay and I'm gonna drag it right on in here okay and what I'm gonna do the chroma key here has to be above all of this right there okay Let's see. yep like that okay so what I usually do because uh, my camera is not really is it's not really perfect or whatever kind of 
gives it a little bit of a choppy look or whatever. So what I do is I add a D interlace in uh, onto my uh, uh, video clip so that I, I don't come in funny because this is how I look if I don't have see uh, coming like a little fuzzy right there. You can see right there and when I turn on the D interlace, it makes it come in like smoother. So you can do it up or down depending on what looks better. Sometimes the up or down. I might have the down because it looks a little bit better. And then what I'm going to go back to do is the chroma key. And right here is the chroma key. Here, so I'm going to mess around with the width. Okay. Mess around. Oop, go all the way there. You're going to have to play around with it a little bit. Go to soften. Okay. So it does that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right in. Okay. Minimum, minimum. Okay. Right there, right there, right there, and it's still not perfect because you can see a little bit of a of green right there on the outlines. And I'm gonna move it around a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna go to right about here where I come back into facing four, so you can see me a lot better. Okay, hold on. Let's see right there. Okay. Cut this part out. Because I tried putting this in full HD, it's kind of a little bit of uh, taking a little bit of memory on my uh, Mac a little bit with the editing on this. And the chroma keys kind of takes a lot of work a little bit of memory or whatever. So what I'm going to do is go right here. Okay, take this clip. Cut this out. Okay, so right about there. So you can see me standing right here. Okay, you see a little bit of the green hanging out on the edges. What I'm going to do to make that uh, a little bit better is, well, go back right in here. Go to go to filters. Let's see, which is clicked. Okay, and play around with it a little more because uh, I'm going to go see see how much minimum. Okay, more, 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 and then soften it a little bit more. Okay, to right about there. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and see, go to the spill suppressor. I would do, you can do the spill suppressor, blue or green, or you can just do, I, I just do the spill suppressor. Regular, just the regular one and right there. And I put it all above here. Okay. Okay, spill suppressor amount. I'm going to have it on the green. Okay, now it's going to spill out some of the green, and you're going to play around with that a little bit. Okay, on the mix, I'd say the amount. Okay, Let's see. Okay, right there. Okay, and uh, keep messing around with that a little bit. I added. Uh, uh, a, a background loop so you can see it a lot better inside there. That's what it looks like with it. Not there, give it a second. Sometimes it, it's thinking because of my uh, external hard drive that I have, it thinks a lot. Uh, right there, you can see what it looks like. What I did is I uh, added the chroma key. First, I added the chroma key first, then I added the spill. And I added the D uh, interlace, uh, put that uh, at, at the bottom and after the spill and the uh, chroma key here. And then uh, I messed around with it a little bit, minimum, you can play with that a little bit. Okay, play around with the minimum. To right about there, makes it, that's as perfect as, as I'm going to get it. I'll mess around with the softness just to tell it. Okay, the minimum. With you might see some of it a little bit depending. Okay, mess around with that a little bit. You know, I mess around with that. Okay.
Okay, you see that comes in perfect, as perfect as possible as I can get it. Okay, now I'm going to bring this back in here, this video loop that I have. Oops, let's go up there. Okay, I'm still showing a little bit red on the side. So that's, that's as best as I'm going to get it. Uh, if I add, if I take it off, it comes in a little choppy, so I have to ha leave some of the red a little bit, just a touch right there, because my camera is not really perfect. It's not doesn't make my all my clips come in HD, and then I would have to play around with the width and everything. Key on luminance, I'd probably leave it off, depending. And then I go here, here, here. Just about where my hand is, and I might have to mess around with the upper, lower. Oh, upper looks a lot better. And if I mess around with any of these, it doesn't do any good, so I did just leave it on the upper because it looks closer to perfect. Right there. Okay, and then uh, mess around. You can mess around with the. So you can see my hand a little bit. It kind of shows a little bit of the red because it's based on the lighting a little bit. It's it kind of you might have to mess around with the color corrector a little bit. You go to color corrector three ways, what I usually do, and I mess around with that a little bit. Okay, you get it to come in a little better, and and you can still see that's my hand a little bit. So you know that's part of my hand, you, and that's as perfect as I can get it or whatever. And then that's how you do that, and then that's pretty much it. You can add whatever in the backgrounds, whatever you want. You can also do it to like a single image or whatever, like I did here of Summer Glow where I showed you where it looks like I'm standing next to her. Right here. Okay, right there where it looks like uh, she's standing right there. Uh, I didn't even have to use Photoshop for this. All I did was uh, mess around with it. You might rather use Photoshop for something like this. See right here, bits. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. Okay, let's cut this out. Okay, let's go to here. Okay, mess around with this a little bit. Okay, go back to here. Okay, I'm gonna double click on this. Okay, I'm gonna shut myself off. So what I'm gonna do, or or put it right over here somewhere. Just so. Okay, right here, and then I'm going to go to let's see out of filters, and I'm going to go to instead of uh, doing all this uh, stuff right there, you're going to go to color key, the effects plugin is what I use, and then uh, color key. See that? Let's try and take out some of the blue that was this, and it looks like that blue right there. So we're going to do, put it on the white. Okay, I'm going to add tolerance. You do see oh make sure oh right there okay I did a bit too much okay right about there and then oh I'd actually do this cut this off it, it would be the regular key because it has an edge thin and all this so we go to this okay now we're gonna make it white so color key the one that doesn't say effects plug just the one that says fil video filter because this one will make it come in a lot better when you do this. Go to see. Okay, tolerance. Oh, make sure it's on. And the tolerance is too high there. Okay, right about to right about there. Edge thin. Mess around with that a little bit. You can take the tolerance down some. Edge feather. You can take that down. Down, 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 down. Right there, you might want to Photoshop it because it has the word, uh, whatever, where you got the image. If it has words in there, or whatever, you might want to Photoshop it. But if it's just her, you can get it pretty perfect on a solid color, whatever. Make sure there's no other colors that uh, are, are white, like right in, on the outside. So, like if her shirt was white, it'd probably take out her shirt. But since her shirt is light blue, it was easier to take out all the white there.
it's pretty much it on the chroma key uh, tutorial it's pretty simple and, and stuff you just gotta get your lighting uh, pretty close to even and everything when you're messing around with the chroma key a little bit and I'll probably do a tutorial on that in my next uh, chroma key tutorial if you wanna uh, learn how to do lighting how to get it perfect or whatever and that's pretty much it I hope you find this tutorial useful in chroma key green screen tutorial you could do it with your blue or whatever you have a blue screen or whatever but right now I only have a green screen so I'm just messing around with that and uh, okay and comment rate subscribe you can check out the full video I'll put a link to that at the end of this video check out the full parody video to uh, hold it against me by Britney Spears and uh, it's uh, to Summer Glow and I decided to do it to her because I was just uh, messing around with the song thinking of what lyrics to uh, mess around with and change up a little bit and uh, I decided to do it to Summer Glow since I'm a fan of Summer Glow and since I've seen her in Terminator and her kind of chronicles and everything and I'm just trying to do different things than what I sing on YouTube a little bit and that's it like I said comment rate subscribe and uh, and uh, I'll put a link to the video at the end and that's it see you later